five remarkable icebreakers conquering polar waters. Hello, everyone. Today, we're embarking on an exciting journey into the world of icebreakers, those incredible vessels engineered to tackle some of the harshest environments on our planet. If you're someone who loves the raw beauty of nature, from the vast, frozen expanses of the poles to the delicate balance of ecosystems in icy realms, you'll appreciate how these ships not only pave the way through formidable ice, but also support vital scientific research and safe navigation. An icebreaker is essentially a specialized ship built to navigate through ice-covered waters, creating safe paths for other vessels. They feature reinforced hulls, powerful engines, and clever designs that allow them to push, crush, or ride over ice without getting stuck. The history of icebreakers stretches back centuries, evolving from simple barges pulled by horses in medieval Europe to today's high-tech marvels. In the 14th century, cities like Bruges used primitive icebreakers to clear frozen moats, rely on manual labor with axes and saws. As exploration pushed into polar regions, wooden ships like the Russian Coke from the 11th century were strengthened with rounded hulls to pop up over ice rather than crunch through it. The Industrial Revolution brought steam power, with pioneers like the Russian pilot in 1864 extending navigation seasons in icy gulfs. By the late 19th century, ships like Yermak set the standard for modern icebreakers, boasting massive horsepower to smash through thick sea ice. In polar areas like the Arctic, these ships are indispensable. They keep trade routes open, escort merchant vessels, and aid in rescuing ships trapped in ice. They're also key players in scientific endeavors, supplying remote research stations and enabling studies on climate, marine life, and environmental changes. Think about the Arctic's northern sea route. Icebreakers make it viable for commerce, reducing travel times between Europe and Asia while minimizing risks to fragile polar habitats. Designs have advanced too. Hulls are sloped to reduce resistance. Frames are reinforced with high-strength steel to withstand extreme cold, and propulsion systems range from diesel-electric to nuclear for unrelenting power. Some even use asthma thrusters for better maneuverability, allowing them to operate like double-acting vessels in both ice and open water. But it's not just about brute force. Icebreakers incorporate smart features like water deluge systems to slick the hull and cut friction with ice. In regions prone to oil exploration, they manage ice around platforms, steering birds away to protect both human operations and the environment. As climate patterns shift and ice melts unevenly, these ships become even more crucial for monitoring changes and supporting sustainable activities. Russia leads in nuclear power models, which can operate for months without refueling, while countries like Canada and the U.S. maintain fleets for coastal and deep polar missions. Whether coastal for shorter routes or ocean going for epic voyages, icebreakers embody human ingenuity in harmony with nature's challenges. Now, let's count down five standout examples of these engineering wonders, each braving icy conditions to unlock the secrets of our polar worlds. We'll explore their designs, histories, and the vital roles they play, all while keeping things straightforward and fascinating. Number five, a South African polar research vessel. You might not immediately associate South Africa with icebreaking prowess, given its warmer climates, but this nation has an impressive stake in polar exploration, particularly in the Antarctic. Their dedicated polar research vessel is a prime example of how countries far from the poles contribute to global understanding of these remote ecosystems. Built to handle the demanding conditions of icy southern waters, this ship serves as both supply lifeline and a floating laboratory, enabling scientists to study everything from ocean currents to climate impacts on wildlife. Commissioned in 2012 after a multi-year construction process, this vessel was designed from the ground up to replace an older model, ensuring continued support for Antarctic research stations. It was crafted in Finland under a substantial contract, with construction milestones like steel cutting in 2010 and launching in 2011. After rigorous sea and ice trials, where exceeded expectations in breaking through up to 0.6 meters of ice, it arrived at its home port in Cape Town, ready for action. One of its standout moments came in 2022, when it acted as a base for an expedition that discovered a historic shipwreck in the Weddell Sea, adding a layer of adventure to its scientific legacy. In terms of specs, it's a robust 134 meters long, 
with a displacement of over 13,000 tons. Powered by four diesel generating sets totaling 12,000 kilowatts, it can cruise at 14 knots with a range of 15,000 nautical miles. Its ice-breaking class allows it to operate year-round in medium first-year ice, punching through up to a meter at a steady pace. The hull is strengthened for polar extremes and can withstand temperatures down to minus 35 degrees Celsius with heated decks to prevent ice buildup. Smart touches that keep operations smooth in nature's freezer. Operationally, this ship is a workhorse for environmental and biological research. It boasts eight permanent labs and space for mooring containers, totaling 800 square meters of scientific real estate. A unique moon pool lets researchers deploy probes even in heavy ice, while a drop keel measures plankton and currents without disturbance. It carries helicopters for aerial surveys, fast rescue craft for emergencies, and enough cargo space for 1,000 cubic meters for supplies like fuel and equipment. Accommodating 100 passengers in comfortable cabins It's like a mobile research hub, fostering studies on marine life, climate patterns, and even ice ship interactions through built-in sensors. What makes it truly engaging for nature enthusiasts is its role in preserving polar biodiversity. By supplying remote stations, it enables long-term monitoring of penguins, seals, and glacial changes, helping us grasp how warming affects these pristine areas. Interestingly, it's built to strict safety standards for passenger ships, a rarity, and its design doubles as a platform for testing ice technologies, collaborations that advance eco-friendly navigation. Imagine sailing aboard, witnessing the aurora while contributing to science. It's a vessel that bridges human curiosity with the wonders of the natural world. Truly, a testament to international cooperation in exploring Earth's icy frontiers. Number 4 a United States heavy icebreaker. Shifting our focus northward, the United States maintains a vital presence in polar waters, especially around Alaska, where thick ice can threaten commercial shipping and scientific missions. One of their heavyweight champions is a heavy icebreaker that's been a reliable guardian of these frozen domains for decades. Commissioned in the mid-1970s, this ship has logged journeys across all five oceans, visiting over 60 ports on six continents a globe-trotting resume that underscores its versatility in tackling nature's icy barriers. Its story began in the early 1970s, with construction in Seattle alongside a sister vessel. After years of service, it underwent a major overhaul in the 2010s, costing millions to extend its life and modernize systems. Reactivated after a brief reserve period, it resumed critical duties, including annual resupply missions in the Antarctic. This ship has circumnavigated continents, transited legendary passages like the Northwest, and even supported international inspections under polar treaties, roles that highlight its diplomatic as well as operational importance. Measuring nearly 400 feet long with a beam of over 83 feet, it displaces around 13,000 tons when fully loaded. Power comes from a combined diesel, electric, and gas turbine setup, delivering up to 75,000 shaft horsepower for open water speeds of 18 knots. In ice, it maintains three knots through six feet thick or rams through up to 21 feet, a capability born from its curved bow that rides up and crushes ice with the ship's weight. The hull uses special low-temperature steel, thickly plated for durability in sub-zero conditions, ensuring it can withstand the punishing forces of polar navigation. In Alaskan waters and beyond, its operations are diverse and essential during Arctic deployments, it resupplies remote bases like Thule in Greenland and conducts patrols in harsh winter darkness, once reaching record northern latitudes for U.S. vessels in winter. In the Antarctic, it's a linchpin for resupplying research stations, breaking channels through fast ice to allow cargo ships safe passage. This supports studies on everything from glacial melt to marine ecosystems, directly aiding our understanding of climate change's impact on polar wildlife. Design-wise, three powerful shafts with controllable pitch propellers provide unmatched thrust, while onboard facilities include space for 145 crew and officers. It's equipped for helicopter operations, enhancing its reach for surveys and rescues. For nature lovers, consider its environmental contributions. By enabling safe access to sensitive areas, it facilitates research on endangered species and habitat shifts without unnecessary disturbance. An interesting tidbit 
It's towed disabled vessels across vast distances and even hosted Antarctic inspections, blending adventure with stewardship. This icebreaker isn't just a machine. It's a gateway to preserving the fragile beauty of our polar natural heritage. Number three, a Canadian heavy icebreaker. It's no surprise that Canada, with extensive northern coastlines and icy eastern waters, boasts some of the finest icebreakers in the world. One such powerhouse is a heavy-duty vessel operated by their Coast Guard, tasked with safeguarding shipping in regions like Newfoundland and Labrador. Built in the early 1980s, this ship started life supporting offshore oil exploration, but transitioned to public service, becoming a staple in Canadian polar operations. Originally constructed for Arctic drilling support, it assisted mobile units in the Beaufort Sea for nearly a decade before being leased and then purchased by the Coast Guard in the 1990s. Named in honor of a national hero known for perseverance, it replaced an aging fleet member during upgrades. Over the years, its mapped undersea shells reached the North Pole, a milestone for Canadian ships, and even joined international search efforts, proving its enduring value. Currently, it's undergoing extensions to bridge the gap until new builds arrive. At 88 meters long, it's powered by four diesel engines totaling 23,200 horsepower, making it one of the mightiest of its era. It can break through four feet of first-year ice at three knots, aided by an air-bubbling system that reduces friction, like nature's own lubricant. With a range suited for long patrols, it features mechanical propulsion with controllable pitch propellers, a semi-spoon bow for efficient ice plowing, and heavy flywheels to handle shocks from ice encounters. Based in St. John's, it operates in the Gulf of St. Lawrence during winter and the eastern Arctic in summer, escorting tankers and commercial ships through treacherous ice. It's crucial for the annual sea lift to remote communities, delivering essentials while navigating frozen paths. In rescues, it assisted stuck vessels and participated in high-profile searches, showcasing its reliability in emergencies that protect both people and marine environments. The design includes a powerful winch system, cargo crane, and hole for versatility, though it lacked a helideck unlike some piers. Accommodating a small crew with extra berths, it prioritizes functionality in cold climes. For those passionate about nature, its role in mapping Arctic seabeds supports conservation efforts, revealing underwater habitats vital for species like whales and fish. Fun fact, at launch, it and its sister were the world's most powerful private icebreakers, a title earned through rigorous testing. Incidents like groundings have been minor, with quick recoveries, emphasizing safety. This vessel embodies Canada's commitment to harmonious interaction with its icy natural landscapes, ensuring sustainable access for generations. Number two, an innovative oblique icebreaker. Now, let's talk about a groundbreaking design from the world of Arctic technology, a vessel that's redefining how we approach icebreaker with its ability to slice through ice not just forward, but sideways too. Developed by Finnish experts and built for Russian operations, this ship introduces an asymmetric hull that allows oblique maneuvers, creating wider channels for larger ships to follow. It's a clever evolution, perfect for harbors and coastal areas where efficiency matters in preserving natural waterways. The concept dates back to the late 1990s, patented and refined over years. Ordered in 2011 and built in Finland, Construction faced delays but culminated in a 2013 launch and 2014 commissioning. After trials in icy gulfs, it entered service, assisting in oil terminal builds and proving its metal in real-world conditions. Just over 76 meters long with a 20.5-meter beam, it has a dead weight of 1,150 tons and diesel-electric power from three generators totaling 9,000 kilowatts. Three asthma thrusters two aft, one forward, enable 14 knots in open water and three knots in meter-thick ice. Its Icebreaker 6 class suits non-Arctic waters with up to 1.5 meters of ice, and it boasts a 4,500 nautical mile range with 20-day endurance for a crew of 24. The star features its triangle-shaped hull, allowing a 50-degree attack angle to carve 50-meter-wide paths in 60 centimeters ice wider than conventional methods, reducing the need for multiple ships and minimizing environmental disruption. It also aids oil spill response, using its side as a sweeper for skimmers, protecting marine life in sensitive areas. 
in operations. It handles harbor icebreaking, towing, firefighting, and rescues based in Russian waters for nature-focused audiences. Its efficiency means less fuel use and lower emissions, supporting cleaner polar ecosystems. Interestingly, it's the first asymmetric hulled ship, a milestone in innovation. This vessel shows how thoughtful design can enhance our respect for and navigation through nature's frozen frontiers. Number one, the world's largest nuclear icebreaker. Topping our list is a colossal Russian nuclear power giant, the pinnacle of icebreaking might, designed to conquer the thickest Arctic ice and keep vital northern routes open. At over 25,000 tons, it's the largest of its kind, ensuring safe passage to the Arctic Ocean's unforgiving waters. Commissioned in 2007 after a protracted build starting in the late 1980s, interrupted by economic shifts, it represents enduring engineering triumph. Originally laid down as another name, construction paused in the 1990s but resumed in 2003, leading to successful trials and homeport arrival in Murmansk. It's weathered incidents like a minor collision without compromising safety, underscoring its robustness. 159 meters long, it's propelled by a nuclear turboelectric system with 55 megawatts total, breaking 2.5 meters of ice. Two reactors allow year-long operations before refueling, with a top speed of 18.6 knots and exceptional maneuverability. In the Arctic, it maintains a northern sea route for commerce, escort ships, and hosts tourist cruises to the North Pole, reaching it over 100 times, including a record fast transit. It's carried symbolic items like Olympic flames, blending utility with cultural significance. The spoon-shaped bow efficiently cuts ice, while updates include digital controls and enhanced shielding. Amenities like pools and salons support its 189 crew during 7.5-month stints, plus helicopter capabilities. For nature enthusiasts, its role facilitates research on Arctic changes, aiding conservation of polar bears and seals. A stamp features it, highlighting national pride. This ship exemplifies how advanced tech can unlock nature's mysteries responsibly, wrapping up our exploration of these awe-inspiring vessels. In closing, these icebreakers remind us of the delicate dance between human innovation and the natural world. They open doors to discovery while emphasizing the need to protect our planet's icy treasures. Thanks for joining this adventure. Stay curious about the wonders around us.